Hello guys, welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time when you see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, let's start with today's news. And for the match where Arsenal won't play against Manchester United, so they're going to do the media settings, so they're going to interview Ateta, so they're going to ask him about Thomas Partey, say whether well, Partey is still there for him plans. Because we're going to hear many, many stories where they make the rounds, especially with this latest one from Al Ali. We are like, because they're interested and they're plotting a move. So, I think that in response, so I think I can talk, say, Thomas Partey is a super important player for us. We want him to be in the team. Say, so you want Partey to stay for us now. Say, Partey know they go anywhere. And Baba can only explain further. So, you can only talk, say, if we check the squad, we'll get now. We don't get people like Thomas Partey, Jorginho, and Declan Rice. Like, this is something we didn't really have before. Like, two super players in one position fighting it out. Get so. Those are some of the things we don't really get. And for me, I think with these statements we have that I don't make, if Pat you know what thing they do, making just calm down and rest, you go get playing time. Playing time not the issue. But, but Rice cannot play all the whole games. You go get playing time. And it's good, sir, because normally my Pat is usually prone. So at least in game, no, we did too much. You get, you know, the reliance on him, no, we did too high again. Because you don't get somebody else who so you come in, deputize and do a good job. So I just see how everything will end at the end of the day. But for that party will come out. I think this is the nail on the coffin. Nobody will talk about that story unless now party can the push by himself. Say I want to still go. But for your manager to come outside and make a public statement that we want to keep you, we need you. You are a super important player in our team. So what more can you ask for? Alright, so today Asta will play against uh, Manchester United, 10 p.m. Nigerian time. So I don't know your own country which time they will play. So I just like at least I will feel watch this one. Don't be like other oh, how you say at nah, midnight your person supposed to sleep. Let's see what they watch for. So we'll watch this one and let us see how the match will end at the end of the day because it's going to be a very, very tough match because stayed up with a field up and Asta already traveled to New York, so Asta are in New York as we speak right now. So they are preparing and getting used to the atmosphere, the stadium. You get so by the night, match will start. All right, for the media setting, they're going to ask Ateta about Trossard. So Ateta can going to explain, say, Trossard is doing fine. Trossard is okay. Remember yesterday, I told somebody when I did live, somebody asked me, say, Sachi, what about Trossard? I said, now nah, small knock. You don't really need to be something we worry ourselves about. And I told that about this media conference, say, Ateta will give us update so the update don't come out so i think that's it for size is fine so there's nothing really to get worried about that it's going to be available to play today so that's what it is at the same time the colleague asked ateta about the united match so baba Kato said this is going to be a big test to show where we are again because united now it seems we say we know them and they know us yes they are our league rivals so this is another big thing because they will be ask about the match we'll play against MLS All Star. Don't knock them five zero. So whether that match is like a tip of the iceberg, like tip of something like like a preview of good things to come, especially against this Manchester United. So I think that one the explain say the two games will be the same because MLS they don't really know us per se. How many times we don't play together? But Manchester United and team will play every year. Girl, they always play them, so they know us. We know them, so. When we play this match, we can assess ourselves, assess our precision, and know how good we are. You get just like the community sheet is going to be the final assessment to know where we stand in terms of fitness and in terms of how the preparation have been thus far. You get so that's what me I'm saying. So basically, I'm not saying this match is the United match. If we win, it could be good news. But if we go lose, it could be say we still need to tweak it something because you know this is precision. This is the time the coach is supposed to be trying different, different tactics, different, different combinations and formations. So, this is when he's able to do all that. I mean, when the match starts, I can't do tweaking, tweaking. No, no. Alright, I think I can't come and say, I can't talk about transfers also. Whether they ask about whether I will sign more players. So, back on the, the opinion, say they will be in and out. Get Surely, player will come in, player will come out. Say, if we can improve the team, we will do so because. One important thing we want to make is say we must not get weaker. As we do like this now, we are very strong in all ramifications. So anything we make somebody come out from this pack where we get now, we must make sure we sign an adequate replacement to cover that person. Because anybody that lives now, 
to make us weak. You get so as we then, even if they don't sign another player, I guess we are still we still do okay. You guess if we can use the score we had last season to finish second, we now add three different names. What do you think will happen? And we have versatile players now. So, but that I don't mean say I thought I don't go sign because it says the window is still open. If we see any opportunity of it take strength in the team, we will take it. You guess so we we'll just watch. At the same time, the colleague asked Ateta about Nicolas Pepe. See, what's his up now? So, what's he be the guy in the future? What is your plan for him? So, Ateta when they explain, say, ask Pepe day now. Pepe get injury. See, that is why Pepe don't deal with the team for preseason. So, what's he go up? They say, if they return from preseason, then with Pepe go get one on one. Yeah, they will talk. So, he would like to know Pepe plan. Then, when Pepe don't tell him your plan, then they will try and make the right decisions for him. So Pepe, I think he has one year left on this contract. To be honest, I don't think say Ateta still gets Pepe for him plan. Any time when Pepe still remain for Arsenal, Baba, I call people they play. Oh, maybe that kind of 70, 80 minutes. The people just bring you in for Bukayo Saka. Now what team they see? But you know go bad to give the guy another chance. As long as he's in for bench, he's going to be like the third name in the pecking order of rankings. Like after Saka, you get the Nelson before you get the Pepe because I don't see Pepe being the second name on the pecking order. So, but who knows? Who we'll just watch that? Yeah. Now, when they come back, yeah, any two they discuss, I will let you know. At the same time, they call ask Ateta about William Saliba. Say, I didn't see this your guy now. Baba, your smile. Say, in short, make I ask my assistant because you know, she's not be for that uh, media set. I forget to tell her. So, Ateta and Zinchenko now actually sit down. Zinchenko acts like in assistance, okay? so as I, that, as I ask Ateta about Saliba, I can say, anyway, let me ask uh, my assistant, what do you think about Saliba? So Zinchenko can say, unbelievable, that the guy, um, then Ateta can take him up from there. So Ateta can explain, say, uh, Saliba is very, very fit. In terms of fit, in fitness wise, he's okay, that he's happy, he's in high spirits. After all, he just signed a new contract. So that, 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 that. obviously, more money, you could be happy now. So still on still, like when Zinchenko will talk, the mood in the camp is very, very high. Whether or not because of the declaration, whether or not Kai Havertz or Mina Simba, like everybody is happy. You get so, and now what do we for like going into the new season? Let everybody be like pumped up, like pumped up with energy. You get so that when they come in, as we knock this MLS All Stars 5 0, I will not be surprised if we knock Nottingham Forest 5 0 for the opening game. Alright, away from that, so the only ask Ateta another important question say, Declan Rice and Pate, do you have any plan to play two of them together? So, my father say, Of course, yes. Uh -uh. Say, Now, what's in there for part of the plan? It's part of my plan. Also, like I told you before, say they need like two players, two good players in every position. Even though they don't come, they don't play together, at least let them complement each other and compete. Yes. And sometimes we say we never really get in the past. And that is something I've always said. In case of kind of matches, in case of kind of venues, where you go, go, you go need more than one defensive midfielder. Venues like Anfield, venues like Amex Stadium, venues like the Etihad, yes. These are tough grounds. These are places where one person alone, no go fit defend. Because when you go there, they may run riots. Amex Stadium, Brighton, those people, they know how to hold the ball. And for there, they hold no captives. When you go to the Etihad, the same thing, you need two senior. Imagine in first level where you have a declaration and a Thomas party, man in that midfield. And so they got go to the front and display, do whatever you like. Just leave this place for us. You can't get the back line of maybe a Kivio and a Mogale Saliba and a Ben White or a Timba. I don't want to score. So that is the way they think. So I just like defensively. Well, like this is it. I feel big by Chelsea. We feel get, like the best or the second best defense in the league because defensively we are solid. Midfield, I don't think we have any issue. We are solid as long as nobody come out. Now attacking wise, we just solid though, but we need cover. You get, we need cover for especially that Bukayo Saka because let's just say Trossard deal with Martinelli. So we need somebody. You get to deal with Saka. We get that somebody. Why oh, we not go win the league now? Alright, the even they ask in Chenko about Thomas Pate staying. So Baba Kondo said, make a no lie. Eh? See, most of the times when I've spoken to him, like anytime I spoke to him, I talked to him about what I've been hearing in the media. Everything with Pate they talk now. Say Pate won't stay for us now. Say we could not listen to all those things. All as long as far as I can tell, he wants to stay at us now. Well, me I know say in one stay, based on say no offer don't come from Europe. Now offer from Saudi Arabia and in personal you're talking before say no one go Saudi Arabia and that one said he's good I like him so just stay with us for one more year at least I believe that's now we still give this guy bumper contracts now what do you just believe there's no way they will put I think it's just starting going to 31 now so there's no way they will push you 
So unless maybe injury can they scatter everywhere here, but not just the watch. Alright, so Arsenal CEO, whether they call Vinay Venkashan, come come and say, I can't explain why Arsenal have been spending so much. So my wife of the opinion say the owner, the Cronkies, they are showing that they will do anything it takes to improve Arsenal, not just for the short term, so we want to win something now, 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 but for the long term, because look at the age, the age range of the players who are signing, which means in the next five years, the next six years, these guys will still be playing together. And Arsenal are in a very, very good place financially. We don't need to sell any player to raise money. Okay? So five, six years, we are signing for the long term. Okay? Look at what is costing Liverpool now. Liverpool don't, their midfield is dead. They design midfield, sign midfield that they didn't prepare for the future. When players on the age, they no plan where. We now we are signing very, very good players. Almost everybody will get the marriage that pick. They still have a long way ahead of them, which means they will still develop and get better. You get that's how good our squad is, which is why we have the most valuable squad in world football as of today. About 1.2 billion, you get, and Man City are second behind us. So it means our players have so much potential, and when we want to sell them, they are going to be commanding huge, huge transfer fee. So that's what it is. Alright, even what you hear say a do gasper personally now they negotiate with Gremio to make sure say Bitello end up at Arsenal. Like in take the mission. Say me personally, I will run out that daily canon and they let us know this new update. And at the end of the day, I hope Bitello becomes our fourth signing of the season. So my dear Arsenal lovers, if you know what yesterday should check the top left corner of the screen, we'll see the thumbnail. Click on so that you get all that now update as they drop all over the world. So start you signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. That came out.